Okay, welcome back to the BSN channel. Today we're doing a vlog, which is uh, ox tail and ox stomach, or ox in testing. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's uh, nantria and I'm, right? Is that how you say it? Yeah, cow. Okay, so we're gonna show what we're doing so far. Peace. Okay, so as you see here, we've got some ox tail that has been boiled the day before. Uh, not necessary. We waited, it's not necessary, but that's what we did. Um, we waited for the gelatin to form so we could uh, separate the gelatin from the meat. But there's always going to be some gelatin in there. No. Anyway. Well, it's totally gone, yeah? It's all gone. Alright, it's all gone. <laughs> right here we've got the ox stomach or intestine, whichever you want to call it. My mum has sprinkled some jumbo seasoning. Now she's sprinkling what she looks like two tablespoons of garlic granules. Okay. So she put garlic granules on there straight where you can smell a nice. Mm. Okay, yeah. Whew. Something about garlic. Got that whole garlic onion territory is just perfect for meat. My mom just put um, extra virgin olive oil. Let's say she's put about three, about two tablespoons. Now she's pouring in the mix of onion and the scotch bonnet peppers. What else is in there? Is it just scotch bonnet peppers, tomatoes, and onions? <coughs> so it's like two medium onions or one massive onion <coughs> that's been blended with, uh, with, would you say a full tin of chopped tomatoes? Yeah, one tin. One tin of chopped tomatoes. How many scotch bonnet peppers? Three medium. Okay, for, ooh, okay, we're going like that, yeah? <laughs> Putting more meat in it, so obviously we need more. Food. She's come with the uja. It'll go down because I always put my coconut in. She's come with the fire. Okay. So when exactly are you planning to put your boiled oxtail in with the stew? Everything is going to go in and then including turkey wings. Okay. It's not often my mum does oxtail. Or maybe remember in the past she's made a nice oxtail curry or stew. I don't know which one to call it. It was very nice. But now she's added some ox stomach slash intestines. Which is smelling very nice right now. But it's going to smell even better in the next 10-15 minutes. Okay. So what's the next step after this? Is that tomato puree? No. What is this? Oh, this is chopped tomatoes. Do you want it to be left there? It's hmm? made to be used. Uh, oh, it's chopped already. So, am I right in saying... One and a half. One and a half, yeah. Yeah. So, one and a half chopped tomatoes. Or it could be peeled plum tomatoes, just to remember to... separate, you know, mash it, mash it down with your spoon. So what's the next step after this? I'm throwing everything in there. All the meat? Yes. Okay. Alright. And what's that? You got turkey wing. Mm -hmm. So this is some frozen turkey wing that we bought from the butchers. Usually when you go to the butchers, you just go to the freezer section and you just ask them for the turkey wing. Uh, you can bring it up to them and just ask them to chop it into nice big cubes. I might make sure they cut it right. Some of these butchers, they just start cutting. They don't even ask you how they want it. You just be like, oh, can you chop this for me? They, wait, they don't even ask. They just start chopping it too small and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who asked you to do that? Oh, no. Now watching the turkey wing. The turkey wing has been smoked. We've got that nice smoked flavour coming to my nose. Nice. So I guess my mom is going to wash this. And she's going to put this 
in the stew along with the oxtail. Okay, we'll come back when that's getting nearer to that process, please. So uh, now she's adding in the turkey wings, the smoked turkey wing. So as I said before, you've got the ox stomach slash intestines boiling in there with the jumbo seasoning or Maggie cube along with the grinded onion, scotch bonnet peppers and chopped tomatoes. We've got some garlic granules in there. You might want to use fresh garlic as well. That's always nice. Now the oyster is going in. If you wanted to use a bit of ginger, could you put some ginger in this? Oh, of course. So you could put some ginger in Because this. I'm going to put one uh, thing I forgot. It's my curry powder. I'm not going to be stirring it that off, you know, so oh. about So food. that's about spoon. Is that one and a half tablespoons of about two two teaspoons. Alright, let's say that was two or three teaspoons of <laughs> I said it's about two spoons. Does that look like more than two teaspoons? Well let's say one uh this thing this Because I thought it was like two tablespoons. Okay, if that's the way you want it, because I want it enough. All right, well, just make sure there's enough curry powder in there. Uh, yeah. The curry powder we have doesn't contain salt. So if it does contain salt, you might want to limit how much you put in. I've taken out all the gelatin from this, so my sauce is going to be cooked normal. Yeah, because when we woke up in the morning, this thing was stuck in the mud. I it looked like it was stuck in some mud. Yeah, but I didn't cook it because of the gelatin. I cook it. I thought I would cook it yesterday, but I didn't have the towels tied. But anyway, you can cook boil it straight away, and then uh, pour the water away, and wash the meat, and the gelatin will be out anyway. At the same time. All right. So um, I guess that you're gonna stir this and then let this simmer. Yeah, only How long do you want to let this simmer overall? Because this is the main stage, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's done. So how long will you let this simmer for? Very slow cooking for about 30 to 40 minutes. Even it's longer. About 30 minutes. And what do you okay. plan on um, serving this with? Rice. rice or any food that is cooked for example if you cook it because it's going to be thickened a bit you can't eat this with soup I mean you can't eat this with fufu it looks like soup but it's stew when it's boiled fully boiling then I will lower the fire so I let it boil first there's so many you can eat. You can eat with cherry, fufu, everything you like. So, there's an array of choices. Of course. I'm going to cover it for a while. Okay, so we'll be back in approximately, approximately 30 minutes. Please. Okay, so my mum is adding some fish, fish powder, powder, about three teaspoons. Two, two, two. Two teaspoons in. Uh, this one is very flavoured brings out a very fishy smell and taste. Combined with it, thank you. And it's, I think, what's the name of the powder? Amani powder, isn't it? It's from the Amani. Amani powder. Amani fish. fish. Uh, we've used that fish in quite a lot of our videos. So. It's like crayfish. Okay. But we, uh, the Ghanaians, we use this Amani. We know that crayfish has a very nice, uh, fishy, salty taste. Very nice. Very tasty. Okay, so as we said before, we'll be back around 25 minutes, please. Okay, so here's the end product. As you can see right here, I've got my ox stomach. Got the ox tail. We also got some turkey wing in here as well. 
So it's looking nice. Made some basmati rice with this. Uh, we actually slow cooked this for an hour and a half, almost two hours, because we went out to get some other ingredients for something else, and um, we was actually scared that it was gonna burn. But no, it didn't burn. As long as you put it in the the, the most um, how do you say it? The lowest temperature, then it's fine. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the short vlog. I don't know if it's short to be honest. I'll find out when I start editing. Hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. So if you like the video, please like the video. If you didn't, feel free to press dislike. If you haven't already, please subscribe. God bless to the believers and good luck to the non-believers. Peace.